Okay, how do we communicate around the world using radio and microwaves? Well, the first thing we need, obviously, is our world. So here's our world, and if I'm over here, and I want to communicate to uh, my mum, who's over here, I can't do it via, I can't see her, I can't send uh, things in a straight line, because like EM waves travel in a straight line, that, it's impossible because the, the curvature of the Earth stops us. So what I can use, I can use radio waves. Now, radio waves are very, very long, very long wavelengths. And what happens is when I fire them up into the space like that, or up into the air like that, what happens is they hit this thing called the upper atmosphere, the edge, oops, around there, the edge of our oxygen bubble that we live in. Outside here is space, inside here is oxygen and nitrogen and the air we breathe. They get to here and they reflect and they bounce back to here. So I can actually reflect these waves, I can bounce them off the uh, inside of the upper atmosphere. That's one way. Another thing we can do as well is we can make use of satellites. So if I put a satellite here in space, this is outside our atmosphere now, there's the satellite. Now radio waves can't get to the satellite because they bounce, they can't get through this barrier. But microwaves can because microwaves are much, much smaller. So if I bounce them up to here, they go through. And then this microwave, the dish on the microwave, can be act like a mirror, and that reflects the signals back down here. Now the advantage of microwaves in doing this is the microwave won't get stopped by things like clouds or rain or anything like that and, and weather conditions, uh, so we tend to get a much better signal, a much more consistent signal, and this is actually how most of our communications, uh, long-range communications around the world, happen.